Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anime Sensei here, and today we're going to be making What If Naruto Was a Prodigy, Part 4. Yeah, we're going to be making Part 4 of this. I hope you guys enjoy it and stick on to the end, because I'm going to be giving Naruto a new ability. Yeah, ability I came up with. It's going to be overpowered, and let's just say he's going to use it in the tuning exam. So, we leave off right after with Team 7 meeting Anko and the rest of the Genin as they pass the first phase of the tuning exams. As we go with Naruto answering the question Anko had asked, asked him previously, with him answering, yeah, we decided we'd come early, as he claimed while smiling. With Anko just brushing it off, saying, whatever, brat. Smart way, though. It's a smart thing to do, though. Because you're going to need this extra time. Hmm. Naruto says in response. With Sasuke just nodding in agreement in Sakura. As it passes by, they walk to the entrance of the Force of Death, where Anko would be explaining what they're going to be doing for this part of the tuning exams. With them telling, with her telling them, you will have the entire force of death. And you're going to have to acquire both these scrolls, which are a heaven scroll and an earth scroll. Also, um, to mention, Naruto looks just like this. Like, this is what he looks like. Because I finally found something. So yeah, he has black hair. Minato had black hair. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah. That's how he's gonna be. So um, yeah, they only have Earth Scrolls and Heaven Scrolls. However, with Uncle saying you can only start off one with her telling killing is allowed, so be free to do it. And be careful. All the teams walked up to collect their scrolls and were sent in with them all entering until it was finally Team 7's turn to go in. And they got their Earth Scroll, meaning that they would have to get a Heaven Scroll. And they're aiming to get a Heaven Scroll. Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto instantly jump into the forest after getting their scroll. They were serious about it, and anyone who was watching them could tell not to mess with them and that they were serious. And that they ain't no joke. With Naruto activating his Byakugan, he could tell someone was nearby. As he activated it, he didn't detect anyone. And he could tell that there was some people nearby, but weren't going t coming towards them. And he was reading some chakras, and they continued going in the forest. And as they continued to go around, they found some girl and beat her team. But it turns out she only, she had an Earth Scroll as well, which didn't really do them any good. So Sakura healed their team a little bit, and they all ran back. They did feel a little bad for them, which is why they decided to heal them. They left the kunai for them to fend for themselves and protect themselves a bit better so they would be fine. As they moved on, it was Sasuke who spotted a team. And after lion comboing them, yeah, the lion combo, or lion barrage, whatever you want to call it, they found a heaven scroll. Perfect. Team 7 was rather happy until Naruto almost got eaten by a psh, giant state snake. What the? You've never heard of a giant snake? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm confused now from what Naruto says. What is a giant snake doing in here? 
However, after seeing it, who was controlling it? Yeah, a tiny bell rang in his rang in his head as he realized who sent that snake to go after him. That this could either be the end of them, or there would be no tomorrow. As he realized it was Orochimaru, the legendary Sony, who was famous for his snake summoning and snake jutsu. Testing. As he decided he was going to have to go confront Orochimaru, even though he probably wouldn't be able to beat him. As the... As Orochimaru approached Sasuke, he was about to stop... He was about to attack Sasuke and Sakura, but he was stopped by his... By Bloodless. He didn't look around for Orochimaru, but stared... No, sorry, 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 guys, sorry. With the Rochimaru getting ready to sneak, sick his snakes upon Naruto, I mean, not Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura. Rochimaru stood before them as if ready to kill them. Well, not kill them, but that's what they assumed. Naruto was stunned by his bloodlust that he was giving off. The intent to wear Naruto started to sweat, constantly sweating. But suddenly, Naruto was bit on the neck, leaving a curse seal on his neck. Uh, and suddenly, his face was covered in red markings, and the curse mark disappeared. What the? What the? What the? Naruto said, but was stopped. His sentence was stopped. And as Orochimaru seen the seal disappear, he was surprised. What the? With him being silenced as Naruto punched him in the stomach, being punched by Naruto, who by now was fully covered in the Nine Tails cloak. Yeah, it's just a normal one. It's not One Tails, Two Tails. Nah, it's not another. Uh -uh. Oh yeah. Who charged right out of Orochimaru? At this point, Naruto was getting angry and angry by the second, getting even more angry at Orochimaru, having hatred for him. So Naruto charged at Orochimaru, constantly throwing punches as much as he could to a point where it started to somewhat overpower Orochimaru. Yeah, just to let you know, Orochimaru isn't going all out to where Naruto has to is just pushing him, pushing him to a point where he can't even take it. With Orochimaru releasing some of his energy, sending Naruto flying back, hitting a tree with some damages, a few bruises. As Naruto realizes that he's going to have to do something to beat Orochimaru, as he wasn't necessarily in the right state of mind, but tried to calm himself down a bit. With the Rochimaru constantly taunting him, just made it worse as he got even more angry. Charging at him, doing a Uzumaki barrage, yeah. Remember? But it was just a clone. As the Rochimaru appeared behind him, throwing a punch at him, sending him flying back. As Naruto hit the tree, he coughed up blood. Yeah. Orochimaru is kind of mopping him. But yeah. As the fight continues to draw out longer, Sasuke and Sakura, who had passed out a while ago, started to wake up. As Sasuke had still gotten his mark. Anyway. With Naruto, at this point, not being able to handle the QB chakra anymore, goes on to pass out. Yeah, as both Nar as both Naruto was passed out at this point, only Sakura had woken up. Since yeah, Sasuke when he had woken up. Orochimaru had knocking him out again, also giving him a curse seal now. With Sakura only awake, with her. Having to defend both Naruto and Sasuke, just like she did in canon. 
So as she does that, about a few hours later, Naruto, well, no, the Sound Four still go on to ambush them. <laughs> oh my God! Not the Sound Four. I'm just going uh, the Kuza team that came to uh, to uh, try to take Sasuke, try to kill Sasuke. Dang it! Uh, sorry about that, y'all. We're getting it all mixed up. Um, but yeah, they come. Sakura still tries to fend them off, in, just like in canon, but actually. He's, Doing it is a little easier on her part. It's not as hard due to the training she's done. And by now, she has learned to infuse chakra into her fist. So at this point, her and Ken, you know, Scott, um, the girl who was there in canon, basically, they're actually having on a full-on fight. Not with it just being a one-sided fight. So we're pretty much getting mocked. But Sakura is pretty much holding her own as at this point in time. She's about on par or a little bit below Ken. So as the fight continues to go on longer, Ken eventually gets the upper hand, punching Sakura in the stomach, causing her to cough up blood. With her barely able to keep on consciousness. With suddenly, Sasuke wakes up as... Both Dozu and uh, the other dude see him and try to take him on. With Sasuke just speed blitzing them, punching both of them in the stomach, then appearing behind them, knocking out the other dude as Dozu is the only one conscious at the moment, well, besides Ken. As Ken by now, she's pretty much paralyzed with the sweat going, coming down her forehead. As she's panicking, contemplating about what she should do. And while that's going on, Sasuke ends up breaking Dosu's arms with him saying, So you're the one who hurts Sakura. Seems like you're going to have to pay for that. With him speed blitzing behind him. With him basically breaking his arms just like in canon. As about now, Naruto, oh, so Lee did come by, and Sasuke is getting out of hand. So he tries to attack Lee, thinking he's an enemy with Lee fending himself off. He didn't use the gates, because it wasn't necessarily, it wasn't necessary, but did use, tried to use Hidden Lotus and Sasuke, but that didn't work. But, suddenly Naruto wakes up. But this isn't the normal Naruto. This isn't the Naruto everyone else had seen. This Naruto, it's different. No, it's not the QB cloak, and it's not the curse mark. But it's a combination of both, called the QB mark. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it, the QB mark, at least for now. At least, it's going to be called the QB mark whenever... He, both the curse mark and the QB's chakra are fused together. It's going to be called the QB mark or the, yeah, nine tailed marker. Yeah, QB mark. As Naruto's covered by red chakra with his whiskers straightened out, taking on appearance similar to a fox. Well, not a fox, but his chakra is red. He has an aura surrounded around him. As. The curse marks all around his face. All around it. With his aura. Dark red. With the curse mark on it. As he sees Sasuke trying to attack a fellow Konoha Genin. With him later on trying to take on Shikamaru and Teen Tang. Sasuke was trying to fight them for some reason. Naruto suddenly appeared behind Sasuke. As he b appeared behind him, he neck chopped him, chopped his neck, and he passed out. He just passed out as if it was nothing. As if it was nothing. Real. Sasuke just passed out to a point where he had a bruise on his back. As Naruto looks at everyone, everyone just looks at Naruto. Some of them are a little scared, but others just amazed. 
somewhat scared from the power and chakra that's coming off of him and amazed on how Naruto could have that type of power. Uh, suddenly, since Naruto's body couldn't handle this amount, it's too much of this, he eventually did pass out. As we go on, Team Sam and Team 7 work together, as by now Rock Lee's left and Team Guy, the rest of them have left. As they work together and eventually get a scroll, yes, they get a scroll. They get the Heaven Scroll that they need and they're going to the tower together. So they do not have that encounter with Kabuto, I must say. Yeah, they didn't have that encounter they had with him in canon. So, as we move on, we go with about a few days later. As by now, Kakashi has sealed Sasuke's curse mark and attempted to seal Naruto's, but the seal didn't work on Naruto. As unlike Sasuke, when Naruto uses the seal, it doesn't necessarily control him or corrupt him due to the fact of him having the Nine Tails. Yes, Kurama was pretty much allowing him to keep control. So, comment down below also if Naruto in the future should lose his curse mark or if he should keep it and master it as if it's his own, since he could use it without getting corrupted. Yeah, comment down below what you think. As we move on a few days later, as it's been about, yeah, three days, as they move on to the next phrase, with the third Hokage giving out his speech with him finishing off, so there will be a, there will be a, um, prenum, uh, what you call it, uh, there's going to be another match before the Junior exam since there's too many people there. As there isn't as there's too many people, so we're gonna have to do a preliminary round. Yes. As this as he says this, everyone else is kind of excited, so it's still be able to have a chance to fight each other. As everyone goes to their places with Naruto, with his team, along with also surprisingly, Shinon, yeah. As they all continue to talk a little bit until the first round appears. First round, it is Sasuke versus Shino. Yeah, Sasuke versus Shino. Or no, 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 no. I'm saying that for later. Sasuke versus Dosu. Not Dosu. Uh, Versus the sound, random sound, Yeni. Yeah. As by now, Kabuto still did forfeit, just like he did. With Sasuke appearing on the battlefield, ready to fight. With him saying, hmm, so you're my opponent. Well, let's see how well you fare against me, Sasuke and Uchiha. <laughs> As suddenly... Sasuke gets ready and charges at him. But him, as he has his curse mark, and I'm gonna say it's stronger than it was in canon, so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna say he's gonna be able to use ninjutsu, but he's gonna hold back on using certain fire jutsu, like the giant fireball jutsu, because that could set the place on fire. And we don't need that. So, as Sasuke throws a punch at him, charging at him. Those, dang, I'm just gonna call him random Genny. Uh, Zeus, yeah, Zeus. I'm just gonna call him Zeus. Because I don't got his name or whatever. So, Asasuke charges at Zeus and throws a punch at Zeus. Zeus jumps in the air, firing off the wind style jutsu, sending Sasuke flying back. Asasuke realizes he's gonna be fighting his wind user. He gets ready and does a fire style. Fire Phoenix Jutsu. As he shoots it at him, he ends up absorbing it. Wait, no, 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 no. He ends up dodging it and charges at Sasuke as 
He manages to catch Sasuke in a full Nelson. Yeah. And drains his chakra as no. It's suddenly Sasuke is able to bake break three. Bake break break three. My bad, y'all. I don't know, I'm tripping. Kinda of tired a little bit, but um yeah, he managed to break free as he charges at Zeus one more time. And gets ready as he does a lion combo. Yep. Lion barrage, as he managed to do that, this is barely keeping consciousness as suddenly, with Sasuke saying these words before firing a fire phoenix jutsu. Hmm. To think you could fare against me? A legend. Well, not a legend, but me, Sasuke, Uchiha. Hmm. No wonder you're pathetic. With him firing a fire phoenix jutsu. But then not killing him, but giving him some burns as they finally take Zeus away. And we move on to the next round. So, I'm going to say that now it's Naruto versus... Naruto versus... Naruto versus... Hmm. Kiba, yeah, just like in canon. With Naruto getting ready. As I'm going to say, since at this point, Kiba's seen what Naruto can do. And actually, surprisingly enough, he gives up. Yeah, Kiba gives up. Like, come on, who's going to want to fight Naruto? But, uh, yeah. Kiba gives up, and as we continue on. Most of the fights go similar, just like in canon. Except, let's see. Since, I'm going to say that Shinon does fight Hinata. Yes. Yes. Shinon is going to fight Hinata. So, I'm going to say that Shinon wins. Yeah. Due to the fact that she's a Senju. And is pretty skilled. And remember, Hinata lacks confidence. And doesn't really want to hurt people like that. So, I doubt even if... Hinata was stronger. She would really go all out like that. So yeah, as we continue, they all hear that they get a training break. With Naruto leaving instantly, ready to go train. As we find Naruto thinking, meditating. Hmm, if I'm going to be stronger, I'm going to need a new technique. Maybe I can make a new Hugo technique. Yeah. What can I do? With Naruto thinking. Thinking on what technique he could make. As Naruto thinks, hmm, maybe I can make a new Hyuga Jutsu. Sorry, yeah. Maybe I can make a new Hyuga Jutsu. Yeah. Hmm. With Naruto suddenly interrupted. As he sees some old man in a hot a nearby um outdoor hot spring trying to peek on some women. Yeah. You know, classic drive. So suddenly he walks up to him and he's like, Yo, old man. Old man. Let me get a look. <laughs> yeah. With Jiraiya moving out the way, giving him a chance. As, yeah, that goes down. And they both suddenly get caught as they get traced around Konoha. With them, with the ladies constantly trying to catch them. With some of them actually being ninja, but still not being able to catch them. As they both finally shake them off and, yeah, eventually they lost them. So, yeah, as that goes down, Dry and Naruto finally get a chance to actually talk to each other, with Naruto saying, hmm, so, who are you, old man? With Dry claiming, hmm, you don't know me? Hmm, you should, because it's me, the legendary Sani, the fi- Actually, now that I think about it, I do know who you are. You're Jiraiya. Yeah, the Toad Sonny. 
how about you train me? Can you train me? With Jiraiya saying, hmm, you know what? I'll train you with one of the reasons him training him is, one, that's his godson, even though Naruto isn't aware of that. But yeah, that's his godson, so yeah, he's going to train him. So, yeah, as he trains him, um, yeah, they continue to train for a bit. Well, no, they don't train yet, actually. So I'm going to say that they plan to train in a training field that Jirai told Naruto to meet him at. As the next day, yeah, they're going to train there. With Jiraiya asking Naruto, hmm, kid, what do you want to improve on? Like, do you want to, do you want to learn, uh, like, what do you need to improve on? What's Naruto claiming? Hmm, maybe, maybe we could work on my chocolate control and my jutsu. Because just like in canon, Kakashi still does abandon Naruto for Sasuke, but not abandon him, but wants to train Sasuke instead of Naruto. So yeah, just like in canon, with Naruto a little more angry this time, as he felt as if Kakashi had just abandoned him, as in a way he did. But was Naruto saying, hmm, I don't know, maybe, I was thinking of creating a new jutsu, maybe, since while I'm a Hyuga, maybe I could learn a jutsu or two, maybe make my own. So, they think about it, with both of them brainstorming, with Jiraiya finally telling me, all right, kid, until you can find out what you want to create, let's do some basic exercises, as Nar- as Jiraiya instructs Naruto to do 100 push-ups, a mile run around the village, and 100 sit-ups, 100 uh, jumping jacks, and yeah. As Naruto continues to do that, as he finally came back a little exhausted, pretty tired out from doing all of that. So, yeah, as they both continue, it's pretty hard, honestly. Like, Naruto's uh, training he was doing. So finally, Jirai instructs him, hmm, all right, kid, I know what we're going to do. For about the next three hours, two hours, you're going to be doing chakra control exercises. With you, I'm going to need you to be running on the water nonstop until I tell you to, running back and forth on the water, being able to keep your balance without falling in. And after that, you'll be doing tree walking for about an hour. So, yeah, instead of three with the water walking, it'll be an hour for each. Got it? With Naruto responding, hmm, got it. As they both continue to train hard enough. Yeah. With Jiraiya just sitting back, giving Naruto some tips on what he could do to improve it a bit. So, yeah. They both continue to try, and I'm going to say, in this time, Naruto's going to make the technique. No, this isn't the technique I was talking about in the, video, the beginning of the video. No. Or, no, no, never mind, never mind, because he's going to be learning Rasengan eventually, so, yeah, no, nah, never mind. So, I'm going to say that Naruto continues to train hard, as he does the regiment Jiraiya's been telling him to do for about two weeks at this point. And Naruto can see that he's getting, gotten some physical gains, as he looks physically different at this point, and feels stronger. As Naruto realized, he's definitely improved, and his chakra control is fantastic to a point where it's not even hard for him to perf- it makes it easier to perform jutsu when he realized how strong how much stronger his jutsu was so i'm going to say that the jutsu he ends up making is called 
It's called the H because he wants to make it kind of like a Huga thing, but for him only. So he's going to call it eight trigrams. Eight trigrams. Lightning highs on. Yeah. Or lightning. Because it's going to be a lightning based technique. So eight trigrams. Lightning highs on. Has on. Has on. Yeah. Eight trigrams, lightning hazan. Hazan strike, yeah. But for short, you could just call it eight trigrams, lightning strike for short. Yeah. So basically, this jutsu is basically the eight trigrams, 64 palms, except. Oh, shoot. Sorry, y'all. You just charge at your opponent at amazing speeds, but. Your hand is infused with both lightning chakra and some water chakra, yeah. There's going to be some water chakra. Or no, some wind chakra. So, as you make, you can A, go through the opponent. You basically stab through like a Chidori. Or B, when you make contact with it, it'll blow your opponent away. So, yeah, by now, Naruto's been trying hard right, with Jiraiya helping him out. As he does about basically two hours a day of... Chakra control, three hours to the physical things that Jiraiya told him to do, bring, bumping it up to 200 per activity. So as Naruto continues to do that, he realizes that he's getting stronger. But this is where I'm going to leave off, guys. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And also, um, I made a new channel. It's called Deadly Chaos. I hope you guys seen it and if you haven't you could go check it out um also hope you guys enjoyed the video and it's gonna be anime sensei out of here